I'm Alex Livingston, co-founder and chief innovation officer of Jewelcase. We're here today at the National Disaster Expo to unveil our Olympus class power products. And behind me, we have Atlas, 170 kilowatt hours of DC-DC bi-directional magic. Olympus is the biggest portable power platform on the planet. It's the most flexible, and it can do absolutely everything that's going to be demanded of our future forward systems. Resiliency is really important, and future-proofing not only energy sites as we see it in big urban environments, but also specifically in uh, natural disaster areas where we've got no utility, we need to be off-grid, and we need portable modular power. Jewelcase can support disaster relief with our expandable modules. By separating power from energy, we're able to provide a digital fuel platform that allows us to replace traditional generators with a ubiquitous energy source. Any need can be supplied with our expandable battery modules to any power source, or we can collect that energy and store it in a virtually universal energy format. What Jewelcase offers that others can't is flexibility, modularity, and portability. In a small container size, with infinite possibilities, you're able to bring in the right power at the right size exactly where you need it. We can drop this thing in any application possible. We have a variety of ways that we can recharge the unit. So flexibility is in our nature. For a traditional deployment during a disaster, we can place up to 24 of our Atlas 350s. All of those Atlas 350s together can produce enough power to run a small town. That's the equivalent amount of power that's going to be required for our fuel stations for semi-truck electric vehicles, and we're able to provide that from renewable energy resources and bring them to sites where they may not have either power infrastructure or the ability to provide that power on demand. Built inside of each of our units is a DC-DC bi-directional converter. That means I can provide energy to any vehicle on the road today to be able to DC fast charge that vehicle, and it allows me to link endlessly our Atlas units for available energy expansion. We're able to take in a variety of energy inputs, so it's an endlessly flexible system that can't be replaced with traditional combustion fuel sources. Future Ready is very important to us, and when we started looking at the initial architecture for how we were going to build our power systems, we knew we had to look to electric vehicles as the answer. By being able to have our DC-DC converters on board, we can charge any vehicle we expect to see in the market, and we can power any application from AC that we see in the field today. By separating power and energy, we're able to go and replace and replenish depleted assets. It also provides for greater asset utilization when you're on a field, whether that's for an event deployment or a disaster response. By being able to separate those units, we can deploy assets where they're critically needed, recharge them where we have the infrastructure still up and running, and reassign the proper asset allocation where it needs to be. 